Yo, yo, yo. What is going on, guys? Gabriel Santos here. Uh, to all my daily subscribers, apologize for the lack of uploads. Forgot to mention that I'm on vacation uh, in Florida. And, uh, you know, and in general, the theme of this channel has definitely changed. And so, if you came mainly here for help with the marijuana use, um, the topics aren't going to be directly related to that as much anymore. But I can almost guarantee you that the topics I do talk about moving forward will apply to anyone who wants to gain a sense of self-mastery on being able to change anything in their life. So it doesn't matter if you want to go from you know abusing weed to using it in a healthy way or learning to be disciplined or you're someone who you know wants to um, change their physical fitness or you want to make more money or you want to just go from being someone who's like depressed and lazy to someone who's fulfilled, happy, and productive, okay? So, um, today's topic, I think I'm going to talk about the art of being um, like flexible and adjustable. Sorry guys, if I keep like fl shooing away bugs, it's because there's a ton of them and I've already gotten bitten so many times, but so I'm going to talk about um, being adjustable and, uh, and adaptable um, and I'm going to use an example from something that just happened this morning, which is me and my nephew, who's 15 years old. You know, he's a soccer star. And this morning I had us run through a, uh, a HIT cardio program. HIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. And essentially it's fucking pure cardio, right? Like intense cardio, um, push-ups, uh, burpees, uh, jogging, sprints, juke moves, right? Uh, jump squats, all that. And... Um, the reality is, in order to be great as an athlete, you have to put in the time and the effort, which means working out on a consistent basis. And, um, you know, the, the workout that I had set up for us was pretty, you know, it wasn't the craziest thing in the world, but it's, it's a push. You know, we're sweating, we're, we're hurting, we're needing to catch our breath after every round. And, you know, um, where the art of adaptability and being flexible comes into play with this story is, you know, um, I had about six to seven exercises per round, five rounds. And typically, you know, um, the way that workout programs can be is like, you gotta do three sets of seven reps, like, or else. You know, there's like a sense of like too rigid, way too structured, and I know for me, you know, it's like, it, it, it's, it's not really, you know, you, you, you absorb a workout program from the internet or someone else's program and it's easy to make that program right and not be in tune with, you know, your own personal style and your own sense of creativity. And so, uh, and not only that, it's easy to just lose perspective because if we're getting burnt out round three, it's probably not, you know, depending on who you are, you gotta ask yourself, you know, am, am I interested in pushing past my threshold to this degree, right? Or do I want to tone it down um, based on how I'm feeling at this point in the workout? And so my point is, you know, you're gonna set up a plan, right? Doesn't matter if it's a workout for the day or some type of long-term vision, you're gonna have a plan. And from the get-go, you might, like make it super rigid like I got to do a b c on Monday and if I don't there goes the whole plan no the reality is bringing it back to the workout the whole point of today's workout was to get better and it was to challenge ourselves um, and get better together and the truth of the matter is just the very fact that we both got up at 6 45 and started the workout we already accomplished that goal right now obviously we don't want to just settle for that we want to really go for it but the truth is, is that by round three you know not knowing how the workout was going to be um, both of us were getting winded to a pretty high level and so instead of you know choosing suffering which is like you know we gotta do it this way because that's how we planned it you know i made adjustments i said hey you know, these last two rounds, um, let's go ahead and, and take it down a notch and, you know, adjust course based on how things are going now, right? And if you're, you know, if you're into football, take the Patriots, for example. They've won like six championships in the last like 10 years 
And I guarantee you, you know, they prepared every game, every playoff, every Super Bowl. They prepared. They had a general game plan of how they wanted to approach the game. But the reality is you can't predict how things are going to go exactly. And so, yes, you prepare. Yes, you plan. You have a general sense of how you want things to go. But when it's game day, when you're on the court, when you're actually performing, you have to adjust your performance and your plan based on how the day is going, how the game is going. Because for example, if your plan is to, you know, uh, uh, drive a boat across the sea, but your whole plan was if everything's like calm and sunny, when it's fucking thunderstorms and crashing, the right course of action might be to go backwards a mile or two. And no, that wasn't in the plan, but that doesn't mean you're failing. That doesn't mean you're being weak. And if anything, you're being smart. You're having long-term perspective, okay? So for example, um, let me go ahead and bring it back to my marijuana users. So let's say you had a plan, right? You know, my plan is to go 30 days without weed. And let's just say that on day 19, like, you know, you're straight depressed. And like, you're really having a hard time. You have two choices here. You have many choices, actually. You know, you gotta ask yourself, what is my ultimate goal here? You know, if your ultimate goal is to push past any sense of discomfort and prove to yourself that you can get past any hardship without marijuana, then yeah, you know, you're going to have to stay disciplined and find another way to deal with your troubles in that moment. But if your goal is to gain a sense of discipline, again, you have two options. I can use this moment to be disciplined or I can say, you know what, um, I went 21 days, but right now I need to adjust course because I don't think I can get through this without weed. But you really have to check in with yourself okay and and you have to take full ownership of whatever decision you make because i guarantee you there's a number of you gonna watch this video and be like oh gabe santa just gave me the justification to make excuses for myself no i'm not saying that i'm saying that i'm saying that you have to take ownership of your direction and if in your heart of hearts you know that saying that being disciplined is the right move then you must abide by that because that's your inner guidance telling you, hey, we got to stick with it. Now, let's say, you know, you came across this plan 21 days in and you're just not, it's like, you know what, this wasn't worth it. And again, it, it can be a slippery slope because how do I know if it's my egotistical, egotistical head flipping with me or if it's my true heart? And I can't make that decision for you, okay? But what I want to let you know is that um, A, smoking weed isn't the worst thing in the world but b you got to have long-term perspective and you have to be honest with yourself and what you're going through and so um you know hopefully that made sense hopefully you know i didn't empower you to like go against your plans my whole point here was to be flexible have a game plan <coughs> perform and based on how things are going adjust <coughs> To reach your then end goal which is to win right the ultimate goal is to fucking win now we might fail and we might have to try again but guess what even if on the 21st day you gave in you're gonna learn after the fact like oh man that wasn't actually the right decision or you know what i'm really happy that i made that decision you know to on day 21 to do it so look the only way to learn is is to learn to fail and to review after the fact and then adjust and try again all right so to kind of bring it all home I have a lot of people ask me like Gabe how did you go a, a year without weed and the reality is you know the five years prior to that like I had tried and failed tried and failed tried and failed tried and failed but in those five years I learned you know oh this is how to get through day one. Oh, this is how to get through two months oh this is how to say no anytime I want right and so as over time I combined, uh, I gathered all of these skills on how to be disciplined and how to maneuver my relationship with weed, I got to a point where I was like, okay, I'm gonna go a year off. And that's what I did. But I didn't just wake up one day and be like, I'm gonna go a year weed free. And Gabe Santos is just like disciplined God, hell no. Like I'm the fucking opposite of that when it, when it comes to weed, right? Like I, I was the opposite of that. Like hell no guys. Like trust um so many of you when you reach out to me or when you comment in the se uh, comment section down below you're like dude 
I'm on day 17 and it sucks and I'm depressed and I don't think it's ever gonna stop and yeah <laughs> I went through all that bullshit all right so um, you know if you've been through the pits of hell in regards to the, the, the weed issue you know what I'm talking about if you're still going through the pits of hell I assure you that the answers are within and that they're out there um, you know and and, and Unfortunately, sometimes the only way to grow to the next level is to suffer and learn how to transcend that suffering, right? So, um, sorry, not sorry. It's the way of the it's the way the shit works. Um, ask yourself, what's the opportunity here, right? What's the opportunity here for me? How can I grow through this? What what muscle can I develop? Is it discipline? Is it flexibility? Is it adaptability? Is it you know um, conscious self mastery? I don't know. I don't know, but whatever it is, there's a reason why you're going through this. And so consider that one year down the line, two years down the line, um, you're going to realize like, oh, that's why it was like that. It's the only way that you could get where you are today. All right. So uh, that's it. Um, happy weekend. Um, thank you to those who watch these videos. It's such an honor to serve you guys. You guys have no idea. Um, if you're interested in uh, personal development training, coaching, consulting, or guidance, uh, email me. My email link is down below. Um, right now, I'm currently working with about uh, five of you right now. And the typical client that I work with right now is, you know, young male, uh, females too, but typically people who have a history of just like, like success, you know, typically like stud star athletic types who kind of lost their way and, you know, um, Think that their weed use is the reason why their life isn't going well and so if you're someone who feels like you know you're, you're better than this but you don't really know how to get through this or you just want to you know work with someone that can empower you in this journey and help you get to where you want to go um, email me down below tell me what your situation is um, and we'll go from there all right guys so that's it um, have a great weekend have a great day um, crush it Whatever that means to you, it could be resting, it could be running a marathon, what have you. But regardless, um, you know, check in with yourself, journal, right? Eat some fucking fruit, drink some fucking water, and uh, we'll see each other next time, all right? Until then, peace.